This is what I want to capture from a video that I have in Premiere Elements 12. But due to the scanning differences between the oscilloscope and camera, this is what I have to work with. Once I have chosen the sequence that I want to capture, I go down to Tools, go up to Freeze Frame, and I'm going to export that as a bitmap picture. I'm choosing a unique name To get it to the next frame, all you have to do is hit the right arrow and it will go over to the very next frame. I'm going to export again. Again, I've got to choose a unique name. Now I'm going to do this two more times to fill up the frame. Now it's not always four because the number of times you have to do this is dependent on the scan rate of the camera that you're using and also the scan rate of the oscilloscope. In this example it turns out to be four frames. Now that I have the four pictures I need, I'm going to put them into Photoshop Elements 12. There's the first layer. And I'm going to get the next picture, but I'm going to put it with the first one so we have two layers. Go to the first one. Holding down the shift key, moving it up, assures perfect alignment. Now I'm going to go back to the second picture and delete it. I no longer need it. We're going to get the third one. Do the same thing. Put it in Photoshop Elements 12. Go back to the first. Hold down the shift key, move it up. Now we've got our three layers delete the unwanted one and now we're going to go back to the fourth and last one and we're going to put that into the first again hold down the shift key okay now we're going to get rid of the single picture here now we've got our four layers I'm going to click on the second layer, and I'm going to turn off the other two so we can see what's going on. Go down to Lighten, and notice what happened. We've got two. Go back down to Lighten. Now we've got three. Click on the last one, turn that on and go down to Lighten, and now we've got our full screen oscilloscope picture, and it's seamless and perfectly aligned. Those of you that are doing technical publications will find this information useful. Thanks for watching.